Hey man, what's good YouTube? It's your man, your mama back with another video. Hopefully you're having a wonderful time here and hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Look, 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 look. Before we start this video, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I get defensive badges quickly? I know they're very stressful to get. Even though I'm a perimeter lot, it is very stressful to get defensive badges. I know I got my defensive badges very fast. No, I did not do Black Force activity to get my defensive badges. For anybody that's asking, I actually did the defensive badges legitly because that is a main struggle. So look, I know y'all like, bro, for a play shot creator, a playmaking slasher, a two-way finisher, a perimeter lock, an inside, it don't matter what you are. This is the guide to help you get your badge progression very fast on defensive badges. As you see, you see, it, it wasn't easy on this build. I got 21 upgrades. 21 upgrades is not easy. So imagine if you got 30. I think I could have got 30 done. To be honest, y'all, I'm gonna tell you, the, it took me two weeks, legitly. Two weeks, legitly. This is coming from somebody that played at least a good total of a whole season and a half to get these badges just off defense by itself. Let me, no, no, let me, let me not say that. And this is with some half of it being playing on rookie or whatever you call it, pro, from going from pro to Hall of Fame based on how I felt. But most of y'all, I know y'all play my career on pro. Some of y'all casually play my career to get some badges. But look, look, look. I know when y'all play my career, most of the time y'all don't worry about these certain things because most of the time you're a guard with short arm wing, arm span, whatever you want to call it. You might be a playmaker shot critter, but this is most of you're going to get. When you're playing a casual game, you're, you're trying to just get some defensive, get something close to your badges. I know a lot of y'all don't mind, like my career blood. This is what you're mostly going to get. You're going to get 20K, but you're minus around like 3, 4K, 6K from that because 6K coming from it, that's from team bonus. You really don't count that. That goes to your overall rep. But when you're 99, that doesn't even count. So look, for your badge progression, the most you're going to get in total is maybe about 25K. That's the most you can mostly get from badge progression for defensive. Defensive badges you will most you can get is 25k. That is having a perfect game. So I'm gonna show you a great gameplay. It's not my best game. Let me get that right. It's my one of my best gameplays, but it's not the greatest gameplays that I ever had in my career. Just cooling. I just want to get the quick little game fade for y'all. The most I ever got in my career for badge progression, like I said, I, the max I got was 25k. In total, I had got at least like 85k. But look, there's a way that you can play. My Player Nation, if you don't know what My Player Nation is, My Player Nation will get you two times the badge progression, defensive badges, offensive badges, slashing badges, playmaking badges. It does not matter. You can get two times the badge progression in five, literally five minute quarters against each team on a scheduled day. So if you play for the Clippers like today, I gotta wait at least six hours to get my next game and play my My Player Nation game. But there's a way that you can play My Player Nation 15 times 15 times when I say 15 times 15 times as you see people are scoring 250 points Do you think this is realistic? It's not even possible to score 200 points in a rep game So how do you think it's possible to score 250 points in a micro game? That's five minutes Against CPUs that's on the Hall of Fame. So look check this out check this out There's a way that you can be able to play my player nation 15 times you only can play my player nation one time Every time it's a scheduled game, like whatever day your team plays, that's when you can play. You got 48 hours until you're able to play the next game. But there's a way that you can play My Player Nation, and it considers you having two controllers. If you don't have a controller for this, another controller for this, you're out of luck. You have to stick to my method. But if you do this method plus my method together, you will get these badges less than, a, I can say you get these badges literally almost three days. If you put the work in, you will get these badges in three days. But it considers My Player Nation, NBA Today, and two controllers. Right now, this is regular My Career gameplay. This is not My Player Nation, but that is the My Player Nation method. If you want to know that method, the link will be in the description to that video. I'm not going to be posting in my video. That's kind of Black Force activity. I do not post Black Force or activity on my channel. So look, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get these defensive badges and defensive upgrades in my career, I know a lot of people are like, okay, is there a way that I can get this in park? Yes, there's a way that you can get it in park, but you're going to struggle way more because if you don't got no defensive badges, you're going to be out of luck. Especially if you're a center, you're you're cool. As a center, you, you need some type of defensive badges. I won't want you to go to the park unless you got at least like six defensive badges as a center or something like that. But you can get some type of contest, get rebounds. But look, six or nine, let me get that right. Six or eight, something like that. But the badges that you're going to need to do this, you need to have clamps on if you're a guard. You have to have clamps on. You really don't need Intimidator. Intimidator, you really don't need that. But if, if you can get Rebound Chaser 
please put rebound chaser on gold if you already have the badges at least have some type of badges say like you have six badges nine badges say if we're working with six upgrades right now put clamps on gold and rebound chaser on gold this is the main thing that you want to look for if you have these two badges these are one of the main things you're going to do so look on defense you're going to press the ball that's going to be the main focus of what you're doing. You're going to press the ball handler, whatever ball handler that you can check without your grade really dropping it drastically anyway. You're going to have that to be able to bump them. Bump still, actually, not even bump still, just getting bumpy on the ball handler or any ball handler that has the ball will get you lots of lobster rep. But first of all, before I tell you anything else, this is on Hall of Fame. As you see, the first gameplay I showed you, I literally got less than 20,000, and I was playing on Pro. So this is on Hall of Fame, 12-minute quarters. I prefer y'all to play at least on 8-minute quarters. I know 12 minutes seems a lot of long. I just wanted to hop on the game. But I didn't even finish the game because I found out. Cause I was like, I don't even feel like playing the rest of this. That's how I feel about my career well. But look, look. As you see, I got two rebounds. I got four points. Don't worry about scoring the ball that much. You could if you want to if you don't got shooting badges or you just got a new build. Just try to do backdoor cuts, get your slashing badges, or take some jump shots. But try to get the ball up as fast as you can for you can get back on defense. You don't want to have the ball in your hand on offense too long. The key is to be able to do this very fast. So once you have the ball in your hand on offense, you're slowing the time and you getting the ball on defense. You want to get more reps and more reps. As you see, I did not get the rebound. But the main key is this. Once you see any defender drive to the hole, you want to go crash. Or you see anybody go to the mid-range line, you want to actually go crash for the board. Hurry up and box out, find somebody, because you will end up getting that rebound at least 90% of the time. But you need to have rebound chaser at least on silver or gold. That's the best way to tell you to get those boards. Because look, right now, I don't have rebound chaser on, but you see I have an 89 re defensive rebound and uh, like an 80 offensive rebound. So if you're a guard that has less than 50 rebounding or something like that you will still be able to get boards this is why i'm telling you put on rebound chaser as you see i put it in the fourth quarter i don't even want to have y'all like that but you need to get these bump animations to make the fumble the ball if you don't get these bump animations to fumble the ball bro you're missing out on tons of rep pick dodges you don't really get that much based on your build it don't matter even for my build i don't get that much even though this is my career you don't get that much for actually dodging screens but you want to try to hit them screens for you you can get some type of rep as you see rebounds you get a lot steals you do not get a lot for steals it don't matter if i have 20 steals i'm not going to have more than 3,000 points i did this before i did this before the most i ever had was at least like 25 steals or 26 steals in a micro game i didn't get more than 5k but you have to be really in your bag and you have to be locked in to do this but if you do that my player nation method where you're able to control both teams this will be very easy you control both teams you get the ball back but the thing about it you just got to set yourself up for the rebound if you're doing a my player mation method but when you do this method in regular my career all you want to do bump steals get bumpy rebounds play them passing lanes you want tip passes you don't want to actually steal the ball tip passes and poke ball loose gets you more rep than actual steals for anybody that's like oh i don't believe it's actually real if you play part and you know what any lockdowns know what i'm talking about you, when you steal the ball, you won't get that much rep. When you poke the ball loose, you get more. Also, look around for them blocks. Blocks get you a lot, especially when people are paint mashing you. So if you're trying to get some badges, make sure you take yourself to the rec center. I know I, it's a lot of paint mashers in the rec center. I can't tell you that. But if you're a perimeter lock, a two-way finisher, to be honest, and you don't want to play my career, the rec center is the best way to go. Find you a little squad, run, in this, run the rec with at least four people. Don't go to the rec by yourself. You're not going to get as much rep on your badges or towards actually progress as you see 1.6 hall of fame but look how much i get i'm going to get a total of at least 55k 55k 50 55.1k but look don't worry about none of the offensive stats that's where you get where you get it wrong y'all might be like oh i got 55k for defense no and also remember i am in a playoff game a playoff game minus at least like 12 15 000 from that but in total for defensive i got at least 15 000 for defensive upgrade that's literally a bar in like a quarter so if you pay attention i got 15 rebounds 15 rebounds on my build gets me almost 4 000 poke ball loose got me it got me it got me 200 on this build but when i'm at park i get at least a good 600 800 but it was only one poke ball loose 
Pot, you got a little pig dodge, it's 500, but blocks are the main key as well. That's 1.7k. Steals, you see, I don't get that much for a steal. I don't get that many steals in my career. But well defended plays, well defended plays that, that is based on when you're defending the guard on around the perimeter and y'all get the shot clock to wind down and you get the ball to get out their hands very quickly. Also, if you're very fortunate to get a lot of forced body up losses, you will be very blessed with this. But if you can get these same amount of stats that I have right now in a My Player Nation game, you will get a total of maybe 24,000. Right now, that's only 12.5K. But that's decent for me not even playing the rest of the last fourth quarter. I was literally with five minutes left, five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. So imagine how much I would have. That may be 65K. But if you enjoyed this video and help you get your defensive badge and your defensive upgrades the fastest, make sure you like the video. And be a mess, your mama. Have a blessed day. And I'm all y'all. Peace.